If you have followed all the lessons and done all the exercises up to this point, congratulations, you must already master the home row. I'm a fan of you, so don't be scared by this new challenge to master the upper row. Are you ready? And now, how do we press the keys on the upper row? Do we need more fingers on each hand? No, we will manage with what we have. Notice how the hands are placed on the keyboard so that each finger comfortably reaches the same color keys on the upper row. To start learning how to type the keys on the upper row, it's essential that you already master the home row, the G and H keys movement, and that you keep your thumbs always in the correct position, which, as you will know, is on the spacebar. You also know that the keys you have to press with your ring fingers cost a bit more than the other. That's why I remind you of the convenience of exercising them to favor their independence by strengthening their muscles. Before starting this exercise, you can practice the movement of each finger on the keyboard so that it begins to be recorded in your muscle memory. This way, you will have more confidence and conviction while doing the exercise. Don't move your hands to the upper row. The bands that allow you to keep them in position without looking at the keyboard are found on the F and J keys in the home row. Don't worry if you don't achieve the goals and need to repeat the exercise. It's logical that your speed and the accuracy decrease. Stay focused by mentally repeating the letters you type without concerning for the mistakes you're making. In this exercise, you're going to practice the movement of the fingers from the home row to the upper row. You're also going to type some words. This video is a lesson from the interdidactica.com typing course. You can register for free to record the results of your exercises, or you can also do them on your own. It's available in other languages and on different keyboards. If you're watching it on YouTube, you have the links to sign up, to start the course on your own, and to do this exercise in the description. And don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and leave your questions and comments below. Enjoy learning!